it's the end of week three, day one. We got a good amount of work done today, but it was a very frustrating day for a number of reasons. We were having some kind of problem with the cut and break saw and it just was not working as well in the morning. So the cuts went slower. We got the first header off and then we got almost through the second one and we couldn't finish that last cut because the saw broke. I think the blade was just not spinning in there. I think, and that was about 11.30, right before lunch. We took lunch and then I brought the saw into the shop and they sat there for an hour and a half trying to fix it. Meanwhile, they weren't giving me any updates. I was just sitting around waiting for them. Then finally, they said they was done. We brought it back, started cutting. After five minutes, the saw shut off and we couldn't get it started again. There's it was just really hard to rip the cord. There's too much compression or something. There's no pressure relief valve on this one. And I brought it back. It was about 3, 3.30 when I got it back there. And I told them I'd just pick it back up in the morning. So we really only have a little bit left on that cut. We have to do one, two, three more cuts finished this well I got this propped up for now what I did was uh, I had to put a spacer back there because we actually have to cut on this side of the post so we got an inch and a half of space up there I put the big tap cons into the brick pier that's a 2 by 10 I believe it's got two of the big tap cons and then these 4 by 4s are screwed off to that board. And then there's another spacer down here. Two more tap cons in that one. And then two of the big tap cons on the bottom. Everything's screwed together. And these 4 by 4s can hold 5,000 pounds each. So we're not even close to the, the limit of what those can hold once that gets cut. So if this header weighs 2,000 pounds, then really this side is only taking 1,000 pounds of that weight. That side would be holding the other 1,000 up. So we're good there. I uh, had two guys, well, it turned into three or four towards the end of the day after the saw broke, but two guys were working on cistern up those rear rafters at, from the beginning of the day. We got about maybe almost halfway done. We'll probably finish that on Wednesday. Today is Monday. And so after the saw broke, we went back and took these caps off. And luckily there was no rebar. They kind of just snapped right off. Um, I wasn't here because I was returning the saw. But I don't see any saw marks from the other demo saw. So I think they probably just... I don't know what this is. Maybe they got pry bar in there and lifted it off and snapped that. I mean, it's not a very strong joint. But then, of course, they throw the post caps off the top and damage this brand new... This whole driveway got paved last year. There's like not an imperfection on it. And then they throw these caps off. I was a little upset about that. Did it on all of them. This one's not that bad. This one's not that bad. This one, there's two that are pretty bad. So that sucks. Then I talked to my metal guy and he tells me that every every year, the week before Memorial Day, he's, he's not available. So he can't start building these posts until next week. Meanwhile, we're gonna have, we're gonna be at a stopping point. And like we're gonna have a week of no work getting done here because we can't do anything until those posts are fabricated and then we still have to drill the holes in the beams and prime everything so a little frustrated about that as well now I mean, we got a good amount done today but it's just frustrating so anyway I decided on uh, how I'm gonna do these weekly videos I'm just gonna recap 
the work that got done at the end of each day maybe in, do a little update in the morning or the end of the day and I just posted my first two weeks on YouTube this uh, past weekend and after compiling all my video clips together into the weeks I have week one and week two each of the videos is almost an hour long so I really don't want them to be that long I think I'm just gonna do three to five minute clips at the end of each day and then if I want to get into any other topics regarding some kind of building science or any other type of discussion I'm gonna do a separate video this way I can have that it'll be in the same series but I'll have them as separate videos so that's what I'm gonna do and that's it for today we'll be back tomorrow and we'll be back Wednesday but after that, I gotta figure out what we're doing for the next week or so until the posts are ready. And you know, I was pretty excited to be ahead of schedule. And now it looks like we're gonna be. I got install metal posts on top of brick piers, and then oh, I did this one wrong. I think. Where's installing, oh, installing W beams on top of metal posts. So the four days next week were set aside for installing the posts and the beams. In all honesty, it's not going to take two days to put the posts up. Once the anchors are set, those are going to go on. We plop them on and they're, that's it. So that's going to take like half a day, if that. But, you know, we're not, I, I don't see those beams being ready by the end of next week but it is what it is can't be uh too worked up about it anyway i'll be back tomorrow have a good night so it's the end of week three day two and I had a pretty productive day today just me and one other guy we were finishing up we Got the last two headers out. We made that final cut on the far side of the post. So that post is just, or that beam is just standing on those posts right now. The wood ones I put in yesterday. We moved all these other headers to the back. They've got another unpaved parking lot behind this building. And got nice and clean. Started getting some stuff off of these posts, clean them up. We'll finish that tomorrow. And I didn't want to bring the carpenters here today because we are ahead of the metal and we're getting our LVLs for the ridge boards on Thursday. So we got time. Maybe we might come back tomorrow and keep working on these rear rafters. And what I got to start doing tomorrow is planning out setting these anchors up top so might have to fix those bricks mortar some bricks back in make sure my surface is nice and clean and start laying out my holes for the anchors so that's it it's about four o'clock had a eight hour day We're looking good so that's it i will be back tomorrow and have a good night So it's Thursday, day four of week number three, and not too much is happening on this job in the last few days. Uh, ever since the metal guy said he wasn't going to be ready, we've kind of been backing off. We've got a lot of other work to do, a lot of other customers to keep happy. But I just had an epiphany last night at about 1 a.m. when I was trying to fall asleep. and. I was actually watching one of my old videos it was the part when I was talking about potentially building the temporary wall all the way down and just having it ready for us when I realized why are we even doing this job in two phases let's just get it all done in one shot so that's what we're gonna do this uh, tomorrow the guys are coming back we're gonna keep working on sister and those rafters we just got another lumber delivery today. I got the rafters and some the LVLs for the ridge boards. 
I don't know what those two by eights are. I think I either ordered it wrong or he set the wrong size boards, but I gotta look at what I ordered, but so we have uh, then Monday's Memorial Day and then Tuesday I have another order coming hopefully I just put it in a couple hours ago said he he thinks he can get it here Tuesday morning first thing I've got I think 35 more 20 foot 2 by 6 boards got the rest of the rafters that we're gonna need for this side of the roof which that I don't need those quite yet but I just want to have them here they're all wrapped up and strapped with metal bands so they're not gonna warp until we uh, open those bands up and I got a bunch more two by fours coming so we are gonna build the rest of this wall Tuesday and then Wednesday and Thursday potentially we'll demo these rafters do what we did over here you know shore up these this conduit everything we did over here we're just gonna catch up on this side and then I'm thinking Thursday or Friday hopefully we'll be ready to cut these headers out and then by the time the metal's ready we'll be ready to put the whole thing back together in one shot so when we were planning this job early on it came up well why don't we split it into two phases and we thought that would be a good idea at the time it's gonna save us some money on the lumber for the temp wall but now that we've started and got this far this fast I don't see any reason to have two phases I mean that's just gonna add unnecessary time to this job so you know the it takes a lot of time to to mobilize and gear up for one phase it's just wasting a lot of time that we don't necessarily have to waste so that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna get it all done in one shot so today I was power washing these columns that we had stone dust, concrete dust all over them. It was a real big mess. Wanted to get them cleaned up. So, you know, we are gonna be painting these at the end of the job. All the new work plus these columns will get painted again. So we're probably gonna need to do a better power washing job, but uh, at least they're not so bad right now. It was pouring out today, so got my rain gear on and I was power washing and didn't have to worry about getting soaking wet so anyway that's where we're at tomorrow we'll come back work on the rafters I'm not sure how many guys we're gonna bring maybe like three guys two will be working steady on those and I'll have a helper I want to get the rest of these concrete caps out and continue power washing get all that dirt off their nice new driveway and so now I have to update this Gantt chart change everything around we had this is these are broken out into groups you can see over here it says demo phase one build phase one demo phase two build phase two finishes so now everything in demo and build phase two is going to be combined into you know phase one and I'm gonna make sure all these dates are correct and see where it puts us I think we're gonna shave at least a couple weeks off of this job by doing it this way, maybe even more. And uh, a big part of our cost is that lift over there is about almost 3,000 a month, maybe. Uh, the first month was like 3,500 because they, they charge you for the delivery and the pickup on the first month and then each additional month is like three I forget what it exactly was but at the end of this job that lift is running us 
$12,000 about for three months. So I forget how it broke out, but that's what I remember the, the total being. So might be able to save us a couple grand on that for a month and save us some time. So I think this is the way to go. Mostly because everything has gone so smoothly with our, you know, how we envisioned it and how it's happened has been pretty seamless so far. So I think that's the, the right move to just get it all done in one shot, move on to the next job. So anyway, I will be back tomorrow and have a good night. So it's the Friday before Memorial Day. That would be day five of week number three on this job. So we're 15 days in and we took a, we had a pretty light week of work here this week, but I think our progress has been really good this whole time. Today was another good day. We had five guys working on framing and myself and when I got that many guys working I usually let them do the work and kind of clean and manage stuff while I'm here so I had to run a couple errands go pick up some of my special order hardware and they were cruising on these sister grafters in the back and so we got most of what we have to do so far done. There's only eight more to do where the ridge board's already gone. And then obviously we're going to sister those up once we do the demo there. You really can't fit these rafters in until that ridge board's out of there. So we, uh, and we got this ridge board up three 24 footers are in place right now and uh, those things are heavy as hell it's 14 inch LVL LVLs are usually one and three quarter inches thick and these things are heavy we were able to use the lift to do the last one over here but since this dumpster is right in front of that one, the second one, we couldn't get up there. And the first one, we just tried without it. And it was a real pain, but the lift makes it a lot easier. So yeah, had a good day. Got everything we wanted to done. And hopefully that lumber order comes Tuesday first thing. <coughs> Cause we are going to build the temporary wall, demo the rafters, cut out the headers, and that's all of next week. And then I'm hoping the week after that, my metal posts are ready. I can start laying out those anchors. It's gonna be a lot easier to lay my anchors out once all that's demoed and out of my way, because I was uh, mentioning a few days ago that we really want that metal beam to be parallel to the ridge on this building because you know in a perfect world all your rafters are going to be exactly the same even if we're off by half an inch it's going to mess things up and you know we're going to have to go back to the drawing board while we're cutting rafters and we don't want to do that so i'm going to take a lot of extra time and with all this roof framing out of the way I have a, a pretty good idea of how I'm gonna get that right on so I will be detailing that in some future videos but we are still clean we got our dumpster swap today so so far we've gone through four 30s and one 20 yard container this 30 I believe this might last us the rest of this job I mean 
I don't think that's gonna fill it nearly. Um, not even close to coming to fill that. And then, you know, maybe another one after that. The concrete headers are all stacked up in the back lot. We, they want. I didn't mention this yet in my videos, but my dumpster guy said that we would have to chip up all that concrete if we're gonna put it in the container and that is a lot of work and we'd need to get a big machine with a jackhammer probably to do that so we stacked them in that back corner and we'll see what happens I mean I uh, I'm hoping that's their new home and we don't have to do anything but we'll see so yesterday I forgot what these boards were for these are 12 foot 2 by 8s that's for the beam packing once that W beam goes up we're putting one of these on the top to where the rafters are going to land and one on the bottom as a nailer for our fascia boards. Basically it's the finish we're giving this on the outside. It's just going to be cut up plywood and rip it on table saw into strips and box in that beam and the front of the rafters. So. I ordered 12 foot 2 by 8s and uh, that's what those are for, I forgot what I got yesterday. And here we got 22 foot 2 by 12s, those are in the, the wrapper. And this is the last 14 inch LVL. And I mean this thing is heavy, but yeah. I don't know if this really does it justice, but this is a big board. I mean, I can barely lift it myself. And just think, the uh, this is a 24 foot long. The beam that we're getting up there is a 20 inch LVL. So it's gonna be six inches longer. It's the biggest LVL I've ever seen, but I mean, I'm sure people I've used bigger than that too but there's three of them and they're 30 feet long so that's a huge beam but yeah everything's going smooth still we uh, managed to turn that delay into something that's gonna chop off a few weeks on this job so pretty excited it worked out that way I went to Staples and printed out my new Gantt chart. I, I mocked that up last night and I decided to have them laminate it so that we can write with a dry erase marker on it. But, uh, and I got a new print, uh, print made that I'm gonna laminate too, so totally unnecessary, but I like to do things like that. Plus I'll have that I'll probably hanging up on the wall in my closet or something, I don't know. But yeah, so when I redid my new Gantt chart, I have us finishing July 12th, which, you know, and maybe that was a little aggressive, but we'll see. But anyway, my metal guy said he's coming tomorrow, Saturday, to start drilling out the W beams, putting the, so the, the reason he has to drill those out is he puts clearance holes so that we could put the wood packing in. Now, originally we were supposed to put packing in on the top. This little detail here, my engineer put a piece of packing on two in the webbing and one on top. Now, we need one on the bottom, which isn't necessarily shown in this cross section view because you know, they're gonna stop before those metal posts and they're just gonna start back up right after the metal posts. So, I don't know if he intended to have packing on the bottom, but we need it for a nailer for the, the fascias. And I don't think I'm gonna do these inside ones because I don't think we need them. I think we can, unless my garage door guys say they need a nailer right there, which they very well might, I'm hoping they, they don't need it, so we'll see. But other than that, 
I think we're all caught up for now. I might be coming tomorrow to, to meet my metal guy. And, but I, I told him, like, don't kill yourself. At this point, we made a new plan. We're gonna do it all in one shot and he's not holding us up anymore. So it's fine if he doesn't come tomorrow. I got a lot of stuff to do around my house, so I wouldn't mind not coming here for a day. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to plan to post a video tomorrow for week three. And uh, that's it. Have a nice Memorial Day, and I will be back next week. I'm signing out now.